Uh, next, Thank we you. have Albert Baldeo, followed by Amelia DeCutton. I'm sorry, uh, Council uh, Vatamala. You, you use the term performing plurality. Could you just um, restate that sort of a, a new, it sounds like a new concept. It's not new. Right, it is, it is. So for example, when I was talking about Senate District 11, Senate District 11 is mid to high 40% Asian American. So it's a plurality and it is performing. It is electing a candidate from that community. Currently. Oh, currently, yes. And I would say Thank the same you. thing Thank with, you, Mr. Con with Congressional District 6 yes. in the same case. All right. Mr. Baldea, please. 6 and 11. No concept. Good evening, uh, Commissioners. I'm Albert Baldeo, and I just wanted to know why you're giving my friend Jerry Batman, who's been involved in this for over three decades. I can assure you that the data and the research he's done has been substantiated and corroborated by, by all of us and all of those interested in, um, in justice and seeing that our communities are held together. But let's start together. I was elected with over 80% of the, of the votes cast in an assembly district as a district leader. And in 2006, I got 49.5% of the votes cast, which is the highest for a state senate district. Why, for, for uh, South Asians, why do I mention this to you? It's because there is the reality that people looking and sounding like me and of immigrant background have reached the threshold of empowerment in America and that we must be represented. Time has come and passed. And two decades ago and two cycles ago, as uh, you know, Dr. Flat told we were here, we got a blank check. Please, our check is, cannot be blank this time. You must, uh, as a commission, reward us or give us our due. Now, we live in Little Guyana and Little India. That's South Ozone, Richmond Park, Richmond Hill, and, um, and South Ozone and South Ozone area. And the problem there is that although we have the behemoth called uh, Resorts World, we don't even get jobs from them. As a matter of fact, in 2006, when I almost won that state senate seat, they got a white Italian to run and push me out. That was the institutional systemic deprivation we face as people of color and as a protected class in this community. So don't let get our, get our facts mis, mixed up. And let's get, to, and also we have like, um, when there was Ada uh, hurricanes flooding, our people didn't get any help. They died during the COVID. We had the highest COVID rates in the whole of New York State. Why is that? Because we don't have any representation. We don't have any um, consideration. We pay taxes, but we get nothing. And this is why I want to ask the Republican appointed members of this commission to, to take a mature and judicious look at the maps. I compliment you for the map you've drawn, map AL. It's a beautiful map. For the past three decades, we have never gotten anything like that. Why can't they stand behind Exhibit A, Mr. Jack Martins and Mr. Nesbitt and others? You need to get behind the map. Because let's put it this way, there's no Republican, conservative, or, or um, democratic way to Mr. fix the pothole or to save our schools. The only way we can do that is by having a very objective way of doing things. And the same way, we cannot draw our maps based on political lines and lineage. That is wrong, and it's, it's most un-American to do that. So let's get to Exhibit A so we can run through this, little, little, this quick little exercise. Exhibit A, like we said, is wonderful. Exhibit B, however, removes us from, from the uh, consolidation there, and South Ozone Park is missing. And who have you put in? You've put in Howard Beach. Now, don't get me wrong. Howard Beach deserves representation. But you can't create two districts that have tension or odds with each other. I was in Howard Beach campaigning and in the Rockways just two weeks ago, the Felicia Singh campaign. And you know what was happening there? There was racial strife. There was tension. We were chased out of the Rockaways by white folks with guns. These are police officers in plain clothes. Why is this going on still in America and you have us in these two districts? They must be kept separate. As a matter of fact, if you turn again to B, you will see, and I know you're talking about you can't cross borders and boundaries. Um, in Exhibit C, you will see that Howard Beach is kept whole, 100% in, the, in um, the Congressional District, Cong Congressional District 8. It is kept whole, the whole of Howard Beach and Hamilton Beach. 
So if they, they have kept hold in, in the congressional district, why are you depriving them of representation and having a voice by cutting them or by pushing us, uh, by, by putting them with us? It does not make any sense for them, and it doesn't make any sense for us. That, that's the first thing. If you say, no, we don't want to cross borders, we don't want to cross this, which I, which I still think is a debatable point before a federal uh, judge, then you can put Howard Beach with Hamilton Beach, with Rockaway Beach, with um, the other, uh, with, with Long Beach, put all the beaches together. There's a reason why they're called beaches. You have, you have Brighton Beach, Rockaway Beach, Long Beach, Howard Beach, and Hamilton Beach. Why are you obstructing that? Then you should put that together. But you're putting them in the wrong configuration here with, um, with, with uh, uh, South Ozone Park, Ozone Park, and um, Richmond Hill. And coming back to the end, we make it very clear in Exhibit D. Exhibit D say, surely states that Howard Beach has the same population that you have deprived us from. And I don't know who did this map, but they need to revise it. It doesn't make logic. It doesn't make sense. I doubt whether it'll stand up in federal court where we're, we're prepared to go for our rights. And it says clearly at the top, excluded from Howard Beach, um, Richmond Hill, Ozone Park, and South Ozone Park, and make one community of interest. So that's the blue you've got to take out and include that other portion there. And then you go back to the unity map, which we support. The unity map, if you go to the next slide, it's most unconscionable for you because you see that blue ribbon here with 878A? That's right here. Is anyone keeping time? That part has been X'd out. You see that? That's South Ozone Park. And Howard Beach has been included. Do you see that in map P? Map P, it takes out, it includes Howard Beach, but it takes out South Ozone Park. And that is the only, uh, the only little problem, not problem, but a little bit of a, of a little understanding we have with unity, but a, but a unity map, that if you can keep Howard Beach whole and yet keep South Ozone Park whole with the rest of the, rest of the district. And if you have any doubts, let me ask you, how many people in this room support the unity map to keep South Ozone Park, Ozone Park and Richmond together? Can I hear you? So there you have the unity map and you have the vociferous map. All we have is a few Republican state appointed state senators who should not abandon the principles that make this country great and this nation. And that is to keep us whole. We, if the city can give us little Guyana and little India, don't, don't token us. Don't tokenize us. Give us what we have earned. And that is a compact district for both the state assembly, Exhibit P, with that adjustment at Howard Beach, and also the map at AL, map AL, sorry, in the State Assembly District. And I thank you very much for Map Al because this will be the preservation link for many commissions to come. That when the politicians see this, they will appoint, they will not appoint future independent redistricting commissions. You know why? Because there's this, this big diversion, this, 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 this lack of uh, coordination. And that is why the Republican appointed state sen um, people uh, who are appointed to this commission must look at a bigger picture and keep communities like us. So there are many Republicans within our district. So keep us all together and then we can decide who to represent us. Thank you, Mr. Baldeo. Questions for Mr. Baldeo? Sure. sure. Can, can Jack, Jack yeah. can, Commissioner Jack. Martins. Jack. Commissioner Martins. Thank you. You know, it's, it's interesting. We've been through 12 uh, hearings thus far throughout the state. And this is the first time in 12 hearings, this one individual who's decided to make partisanship a keystone of their comments, Mr. Chairman. I called for a point of order earlier because it's outrageous that um, we would try and insert partisanship into a commission that is and has worked successfully over the course of the last nearly year um, and certainly over the last few months and through these hearings in an effort to work across the aisle and to single out a portion of this commission. Frankly, I, you know, I, I know that uh, Mr. Baldeo has no basis for his beliefs other than his own partisan convictions. But my only concern is that in, hidden in those nuggets of information that we got, um, because there was information there with regard to things that this commission can look at collaboratively, he chose to throw in comments uh, that frankly besmirched and pointed fingers at a portion of this commission. And I found that to be unfortunate. So uh, Mr. Baldeo, whether you choose to apologize or not is entirely up to you. Uh, we will continue to operate in a collaborative fashion to reach 
across the aisle and reach districts that are worthy of the great people of the state of New York, whether they're in Erie County, Suffolk County, everywhere in between, and in particular in Queens County. Thank so, you. Mr. Martins, I just want to respond to that. Um, I was not accusing anyone of partisanship. I was merely drawing the fact that it is an unhappy coincidence that those members who have been appointed by the Republican Senate senators have chosen not to join hands together in meeting in unities. And I've seen the maps of your version, of your um, versions that have come out, and they're not, they're totally opposed to what is illogical and what is based on the law, the, the law of the redistricting and so forth. So I think it would be rather disingenuous for anyone to say that uh, we are not partisan. Every human being is partisan, Mr. Jack Martins, and I hope you will not discriminate against or make this a point. If you need me to apologize, I apologize, but I want to reiterate to you that you have taken a sworn duty to make sure that we have a proper district. And let me finish. And in you denouncing or not um, accepting the mandate that you've been given by the state, not by yourself, not by anybody else, but by what the data has provided, then you'll be doing a grave uh, dereliction of your duty. And hopefully that will not come up in a federal court's lawsuit. But I just wanted to point out to you, sir, is that, and I've sent you a map also, is that it's based on the facts, on the law, it's compact, it's contiguous, it's, it's culturally diverse, and that is what you call the entire basis of redistricting. And I know you know the law on this, so I don't see why you should go on, on a tangent about attacking me personally. I am not here in a personal capacity. I am here as a representative of over a million people that are bursting at the seams looking for representation. And whether you give us that or not, even if that's Mr. Happens, Baldeo, because it Mr. Baldeo, Mr. Baldeo, uh, so that. Commissioner Martins and then Commissioner Brady. Thank yeah. you. Mr. Baldeo, thank you so much for your comments. I truly appreciate it. And I take it from whence it comes. Um, we will consider your comments and certainly we will incorporate everything that is worthy of being incorporated into these new maps, working collaboratively, all 10 of us, regardless of who appointed us. But I do appreciate you taking the time to be here today and to share your thoughts. Yep. Now, like Brady. I said, I apologize yep. if I offend you. Stick to yep. the basis of my argument. Stick to the basis of what over a million people are asking you for. And that is to keep Ozone Park and South Ozone Park and Richmond Hill whole. That has been denied for us for centuries. We don't want to have this kind of uh, retributed ju justice here. We need yep. to go forward. This can is America. We need to do better than that, Mr. Mark. Can, Mark Commissioner, I'm sure you can. can Commissioner Brady. Mr. Commissioner Brady. Baldeo, thanks yeah. again. Yeah. Com yeah, Commissioner Brady. I'll just thank you again for, for your testimony. But beyond the hyperbole, what we need to concentrate on when it comes to the state, state Senate maps, as has been mentioned before, block on border is real. It's the law. So it's excellent that you've picked the communities and how to put them together. But again, block on border is real. That's the law that we have to deal with. That's what you have to deal with. And that's where there are going to be adjustments. There'll be happy adjustments and there'll be disappointments. So, um, and, and every one of us on this commission, regardless of who appointed it, and there are those that were not appointed uh, by, by any legislator, uh, and we're all looking at uh, helping everybody in New York. From Look, I've been Erie very frank. County to Brooklyn. Yeah. I've been very and frank Queens. with what I've Don't on forget street. Queens. Yes. Th thank you. So thank I've you. told you that. And one thing in, yes. in passing and going, yes. I yes. Yeah. just want to tell you that with Howard Beach, you could put it with yeah. Long Beach yeah. and keep it in Queens. Thank There's you. no problem, absolutely, in Rockaways. You can it's accomplish about what you are being Queens. sworn to do. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, Mr. One more question, sir. Commissioner Nesbitt. Having been mentioned by name, I think that the difficulty here. Uh, is not in accepting your message about uh, representation or geography, uh, but rather your assumption that the process has been somehow politicized. And I can assure you, sir, that when we drew these maps, we did the best job we could. And what and uh, it was our preference on our side, the Republican side, so that you might know it, that we only present one map and that we were able, we would uh, deliberate with the all 10 commissioners to be able to do that. We failed in that, and I can tell you that uh, because of that, you have the raw material out there right now that will be very responsive to these hearings. And, I, and while I appreciate uh, your passion, I do not appreciate your misunderstanding of the process. I understand, Mr. Nesbitt. 
And I also um, want to reassure you that it's based merely on the facts, the data, the law, and our tortured history in securing representation, sir. I, I there is no history, I don't believe sir. That you have there is experience. no history with this commission. This yeah. is the first time. But time will tell, done. sir. Mr. Nesbitt, time will tell. All right. Well, thank you, thank you Commissioners. Thank you, Mr. Baldeo.